सॉल्व वन प्रॉब्लेम ऑन बैलेंसिंग ऑफ मल्टी सिलिंडर इन लाइन इंजिन गिवन क्वेश्चन एन एयर कॉम्प्रेसर हैज फोर इन लाइन सिलिंडर्स एट नाइंटी डिग्री इंटरवल्स द क्रैंक रेडियस इज वन फोर्टी मिलीमीटर वाइल द कनेक्टिंग रॉड इज फाइव सिक्सटी मिलीमीटर लॉन्ग फॉर ईच सिलिंडर द मास ऑफ रेसिप्रोकेटिंग पार्ट्स इज ट्वेंटी किलोग्राम फॉर ईच सिलिंडर्स एंड स्पीड ऑफ रोटेशन इज सिक्स हंड्रेड आर पी एम द सिलिंडर्स आर थ्री हंड्रेड मिलीमीटर अपार्ट शो दैट देयर आर नो आउट ऑफ बैलेंस प्राइमरी एंड सेकेंडरी फोर्सेस एंड डिटरमाइन द करस्पॉन्डिंग मैग्निट्यूड्स ऑफ प्राइमरी एंड सेकेंडरी कपल्स Let us understand the given data, and we will draw the diagram for the position of planes as well as angular position. This is the question for four inline cylinders. What is this inline cylinders? In this case, the center lines of cylinders are parallel to each other, and all the cylinders are placed in one plane. Now the masses attached to these cylinders, that is the reciprocating masses or rotating masses, are revolving in different planes for these cylinders. Now it is given that for all these four inline cylinders, these cylinders are placed ninety degree intervals. So we have to show this information in the angular position diagram. So angle in between each cylinder is ninety degree. So if we uh, consider here, this cylinder one is at ninety degree. Then cylinder two ninety plus ninety one eighty. Then cylinder three one eighty plus ninety that is two seventy. And cylinder four is at three sixty degree. So we have to show here. So this angle is ninety degree. Then this angle is one eighty degree, and so on. So this is the angular position of these cylinders. Crank radius one forty mm. So we have to use the standard unit. So R is equal to zero point forty meter. So for the position of planes diagram, these vertical lines indicate the crank radius. So this radius is same for all the cylinders. So we have to mention here zero point forty. Connecting rod length five sixty mm. So L is equal to zero point five six meter. Then the mass of reciprocating parts, that is m, is equal to twenty kilogram. So for all the cylinders, mass is there. So we will say this is the cylinder one, this is the cylinder two, cylinder three, and this is the cylinder four. Then n, that is the speed is given six hundred rpm. So we have to calculate omega. Omega is two pi n by sixty. So if we put n is equal to six hundred, then we will get sixty two point eight three one eight radians per second. So this information is important for the calculation. Then cylinders are placed three hundred mm apart. That means the distance in between each cylinder is three hundred. So this three hundred mm that is zero point three meter. So we have to show this distance. That is zero point three, zero point three, and zero point three meter. In this question, we have to show that the primary force as well as secondary force are balanced. So when we draw the primary force polygon and secondary force polygon, it should be closed. We have to also find out the magnitudes of the primary couple as well as secondary couple. So here we have to draw the primary couple polygon as well as secondary couple polygon. So how to draw these diagrams? So for that we will prepare one table. Now we will take the reference of the position of planes diagram. Now the first column is for planes. So there are four number of planes in which the four cylinders are placed. That is one, two, three, and four. Now second one is the mass m in kilogram. So in question, reciprocating masses are given m that is twenty kilogram for each cylinder. Then third is radius that is the crank radius r. So here it is also mentioned zero point forty. Now we will find out the centrifugal force. So centrifugal force that is equal to m r omega square. But all the masses at uh, these four cylinders are rotating with same angular velocity omega. So we will take here the formula F is equal to m into r. So when we multiply here m into r, 
then F is equal to 2.8 kilogram meter for each cylinder. Now next one is the value to find out the value of L, length L in meter. So this is the value for each of these cylinders from the reference plane. So how to select the reference plane? Now if we observe all these number of cylinders that is 1, 2, 3 and 4 the mass as well as radius all the values are known. So there is no any unknown value. So we will decide here the reference plane in between the middle point that is the in between the cylinder number 2 and 3. So we will select the middle point of these cylinders that is 2 and 3. So I will draw here one vertical line. So why we have selected the middle point because for all these four cylinders, all the values are known. No any unknown value. So we will select the middle point as a reference plane. So we have to mention here that is in between these two and three, we have selected here as a reference plane. Now L that means we have to find out the value of different planes from the reference plane. So from the left hand side, there is negative value and towards the right hand side there is positive value. Now if we select this middle point then from this middle point the distance of this cylinder 2 is 0 0.3 by 2 that is 0 0.15 and for this cylinder 3 distance is 0 0.15 meter. Now what is the distance of cylinder 1 from the reference plane this is 0 0.15 plus 0 0.3 that is minus because it is on the left hand side minus 0 0.45 then it is minus 0 0.15, then here it is plus 0 0.15 and then here 0 0.15 plus 0 0.3 that is plus 0 0.45 meter. Now we will calculate the couple. So how to calculate couple that is centrifugal force multiplied by this L. So when we calculate or when we multiply these two columns then we will get the value minus 1.26 minus 0 0.42 plus 0 0.42 and plus 1.26. Now if we observe the question, there are the, it is mentioned that primary force, secondary force, primary couple as well as secondary couple. But now for all these four cylinders, we have calculated centrifugal force as well as couple. So for this crank position, we have to mention here the two columns. That is the primary crank position theta and the secondary crank position 2 theta. So here this is important. Now from this data only we can uh, draw the primary force, secondary force polygon, primary couple polygon and secondary couple polygon. So how to find out this angle theta? So for this primary crank position it is mentioned in the question. So with reference to this angular position diagram uh, we will find out the and value of theta. So for the cylinder 1 it is at 90 degree, for cylinder 2 it is 180 degree, for cylinder 3 it is 270 degree and for cylinder 4. So it is at 0 degree or 360 degree. So we will mention here as a 0 degree. Now with reference to this primary crank position theta we will find out the secondary crank position. So it is equal to 2 multiplied by theta. So we have to just multiply with 2. That is 90 into 2, 180. 180 into 2, 360 or 0. 270 into 2, 540. Now from this 540 we will subtract 360. So we will get 180. So we can take here angle 180. Then for 0 into 2 that is 0. So this is the secondary crank position. Now we will draw fourth polygon. And we will consider some suitable scale 1 cm is equal to 0 0.7 kg meter. Now if we observe the value of force then it is 2.8 kg meter. So how many centimeters we have to select. So here 2.8 kg meter and here is question mark. So here is unknown value. So 2.8 into 1 divided by 0 0.7 and that is equal to 4 cm. So for this 2.8 kilogram meter we will consider 4 centimeter scale. Now for the plane 1 here 2.8 is force. Now we will first draw the primary force polygon. So here there are two types. So for the primary force polygon 
we have to consider only primary crank position. Now we will consider some so reference uh, point that is point O. So this is the initiative. Now for, uh, from this point O, value for this plane 1 or cylinder 1 is 2.8 that is 4 cm and the angle is 90 degree. So here this is the positive value and angle is 90 degree. So 90 degree means vertical line. So we will draw here one line for 4 cm. And this is the plane 1. So I will write here the point 1. Then for this plane 2 or cylinder 2 it is 2.8 kilogram meter. That is the same value that is same scale and angle is 180 degree. Now for this positive value 180 degree that means towards the left hand side. So again we will draw here 4 cm line towards the left hand side and we will mark here as a point 2. Then cylinder 3 it is again 2.8 kilogram meter and angle is 270 degree. So 270 that means it is in the downward direction. So we will show here the same scale that is 4 cm and we will draw here one line and then again for the cylinder number 4 so here this 3 is getting completed for 4 again the same value 2.8 and uh, angle is 0 degree so for 0 degree angle we have to draw line towards the right hand side so we will draw here one line so here this 4 now if we observe this polygon is closed, so we can say that this primary force polygon is balanced. Now we will move to the secondary force polygon. So how to draw this? So we have to refer this value for force and here secondary crank position. Now for that we will consider some reference point that is the point O. So I will consider here this reference point O. Now from this point for the plane 1 or cylinder 1 value is 2.8 so with this scale 4 cm we have to consider. So here for 4 cm line we have to refer the angle is 180 degree. So 180 degree that means towards the left hand side. So again we will draw one horizontal line. We will show arrow also and for this arrow here is Plane 1 is getting completed. So here is the point 1. Now from this point 1 again we will move to the point 2. Now from this point 1 we have to draw the second line for 2.8. That is same magnitude that means 4 cm and angle is 360 degree or 0 degree. Now for 0 degree that means towards the right hand side we have to draw the line. That is the horizontal line only. So from this point 1 how to draw the horizontal line and same scale that is 4 cm. So again from this 1 to O we will show direction towards the right hand side. Then we will move plane 3. Now we will come to this point O. That is I will mention here this point 2 is getting completed. So here this point 2. Now from this point again we have to draw the next line for this plane 3. That is 2.8 that is same scale 4 cm. Now angle is 540 or 180. So we will consider 180. So here from this point 2 again we have to draw one line that is same magnitude 4 cm but towards the left hand side. So I will show arrow towards the left hand side and here this plane 3 is getting completed. That is because of same magnitude we will come to this point now. Now again from this point we will move to the point 4. So here same magnitude that is 4 cm and angle is 0 degree. So again from this point how to draw the line for 0 degree angle that is the horizontal line and towards the right hand side. So here this 4 is getting completed. That is this is the line for plane 4 or cylinder 4. Now if we observe, we first come from this point to this point, then this point to this point, then this point to this point and again this point to this point. That means this polygon is getting closed. So we can say that this, this is the secondary force polygon. And it is closed so we can say that secondary force polygon is also balanced. 
Now we will draw couple polygon. So again we have to draw the two types that is the primary couple polygon as well as secondary couple polygon. So first we will refer the values of couple and this primary crank position. So if we observe this couple values it is 1.26 and 0.42. So we will take some suitable scale 1 cm is equal to 0.126 kg meter square. Now as per this scale what is the value for 1.26. So for this 1.26 kg meter square that is how much scale we have to take 1.26 into 1 divided by 0.126 that is 10 cm. And for 0.42 kg meter square we have to take 0.42 into 1 divided by 0.126 that is 3.3 cm. Now we will draw the diagram. So for this cylinder 1 or plane 1 the couple value is minus 1.26 and the primary crank angle 90 degree. Now if we observe here is the negative sign. So when we draw this 90 degree with positive sign so we will refer this diagram. So here for 90 degree we have to draw the vertical line for the positive value. So here are the positive values. But in question couple value is negative. So we have to draw the opposite, we have to take the opposite direction that is the downward direction for the negative sign. So I will draw here one line in vertically downward direction and as per scale we have to take 10 cm line. So here, so this is the reference point O and here this plane 1 is getting completed. So here is the point 1. And what is the magnitude? So magnitude is 1.26. Now we will move next. For the plane to 0.42. So as per scale 3.3 cm and angle is 180 degree. Now the direction for 180 degree angle is left hand side for the positive sign. But here negative sign is there for the couple value. So we have to take the opposite direction that is towards the right hand side. So 3.3 cm line we have to draw with right hand side direction. So here is 3.3 cm line and we have to show arrow also. So here plane 2 or cylinder 2 is getting completed. So this point is 2 and its value is 0.42. Now again for plane 3 again 0.42 with positive sign and angle is 270. So here is 270 degree. So for positive value we have to take direction in the downward direction and 0.42 that is 3.3 cm. So again we will draw small line 3.3 cm and we will show arrow and its magnitude is 0.42. Now again for plane 4 if we observe it is 1.26. So for 1.26 it is 10 cm. So what is the angle? Angle is 0 degree. So 0 degree for 0 degree towards the right hand side. Here sign is also positive. So we will draw the same line. That is for 10 cm. So here we will show arrow also and we will show magnitude 1.26. Now this couple polygon. So this is the primary couple polygon because we have considered this primary crank position. So primary couple polygon. So this polygon is not closed and we have to close these two points. That is this last point is the point 4. So point O and 4 we have to close. Now in the same way we will move to draw the secondary couple polygon. So same values are there and angle we have to Consider secondary crank position 2 theta. Now we will move. So here first couple value is minus 1.26. So negative sign and angle is 180 degree. Now I will take some reference point. So I will consider here reference point that is O. Now 1.26 that is 10 centimeter. Angle is 180 degree. So 180 degree angle with positive sign direction is towards left hand side. But for negative sign we will move to the opposite direction that is towards right hand side. So 10 centimeter line I will draw here. So this is the 10 centimeter line. 
now this here this plane one is getting completed we will show arrow also and here i will mention the point one so its a magnitude is 1.26 so 1.26 now we will move next that is for plane two it is minus 0.42 with angle 0 degree or 360 degree now here for 0 degree angle for positive value move towards the right hand side but because of negative sign we will move towards the opposite direction to the left hand side so how much we have to left that is 3.3 centimeter so in between this one and next point we have to mark here point 3.3 .3 centimeter so here this plane 2 is getting completed so i will show here the point 2 so here is the left hand side direction and i will mention here this uh, magnitude that is 0 0.42 so here point 2 is getting completed now from this point 2 we will move to the next point that is point 3 again 0 0.42 and angle is 180 degree so this time the value is positive because if we observe this 0 0.42 is positive and angle is 180 180 degree means towards the left hand side so for this 0 0.42 we have to take scale 3.3 .3 cm. So from this 2 to next point 3 again we will mark here one point for 3.3 .3 cm and here will be next point 3 and we will show arrow towards the left hand side and magnitude is 0 0.42. Now from this point 3 again we will move to the next point that is point 4. So here uh, 1.26 that is as per scale 10 cm distance we have to take from this point 3 and angle is 0 degree now here positive sign and 0 degree so for positive sign and 0 degree we have to consider direction towards the right hand side so from this point 3 I will take the 10 cm line that is from 3 to this 10 so here is the point 4 4 that is the next point 4 and we will show arrow also and for this arrow magnitude is 1.26 now if we observe which is the original point original point is O and what is the final point final point is 4 now we have to measure this distance because this polygon or we can say secondary couple polygon is not getting closed because original point is O, final point is 4. So secondary couple polygon we have to close. So how to close? That is this is the unbalanced magnitude of couple and that's why we have to measure this distance. So I will show here with the help of dash line. Now we will find out the magnitudes of the unbalanced primary couple and unbalanced secondary couple. So from this primary couple polygon we will join this point O to 4. And if we measure its scale then it is 19 cm. So we have to multiply with scale that is 19 into 0 0.126. Now because this is the primary couple polygon we have to multiply with omega square. So this omega value we have calculated that is 62.83 square. So when we calculate this we will get the answer 9450.57 Newton meter. Now we will move to the second that is unbalanced secondary couple. So from this secondary couple polygon here is the point 4 and here is the point O. So we have to close this by joining this point 4 to O. So what is its length? So if we measure this length then it is 14 cm. Now for this 14 cm we will multiply with scale 0 0.126. Now because this is the secondary couple we have to multiply with 2 omega bracket square divided by 4 n. So this n is the obliquity ratio and this n is equal to L by R. L that is the uh, connecting rod length and it is mentioned that is 0 0.56 meter and R is the crank radius and it is also mentioned that is 0 0.14 meter so we have to take this ratio that is N so we have if we put the value so omega is also calculated so here 2 square that is 4 
and here omega square that is 62.83 square and 14 into 0 0.126 that is 1.764 and divided by 4 into 0 0.56 by 0 0.14 so when we calculate this we will get the answer 1740.89 newton meter